posts on rights at work this week all have their origins in working class organisations and demands. United, we can win. Jeremy Corbyn. Let me just say this. Today is a day when we celebrate the contribution workers make to our society. But it's also a day when we point out the plight of workers across this country, but also especially in our capital city at the moment. We know now there are a million people on zero-hour contracts after seven years of a Tory government. There are now one in ten workers in insecure employment. And the result is low wages. And the result is one million a quarter food parcels handed out last year through our food banks. Four million of our children live in poverty. Two thirds of them are in families where people are at work. And yet we're the sixth richest country in the world. What do you call that? I call that a bloody disgrace, don't you? We should not tolerate the fact, as the RCN reported yesterday, that our, our nurses earn so little that they themselves have to depend on food banks to survive. This is a government after seven years where we're the only developed country where growth is returning but wages are stagnating. That's why we need a new charter of workers' rights in this country, and that's what we launched this weekend. Let me tell you what we will do in June, when June becomes the end of May. We will end all zero-hours contracts. We will end all zero-hours contracts. We will introduce a minimum wage of £10 an hour, a real living wage. And there will be trade union rights from day one of employment. And I tell you what was shocking in recent weeks was the report from the Equalities Commission, where we discover 54,000 women lose their jobs simply because they become pregnant. We will protect women, we will introduce new rights, we will support them, there will be no discrimination against women or when they become pregnant or in pain when labour gets back to power. And you know, I can remember doing a May Day speech here in the 90s when we were angry because bosses at that point in time...